Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee, welcoming you to episode 12 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Now, if you didn't catch the last episode, we beat our fourth gym after some nasty losses and was able to add Eleanor, the Nidoran female, to the party. She's got a hasty nature which is minus defense plus speed, which may or may not be a problem. Uh, they, need, they naturally have pretty good defense. And it's got rivalry, which means that it raises the attack if the foe is of the same gender. Basically, it does 50% more damage. So it's like being super effective against anything that's a chick. She's got growl, scratch, tail whip, and double kick. So, this is actually not a bad addition. Now, today we need to go to Olivan uh, City, which is going to be across the ocean to the west, I believe. But before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of grinding with Eleanor to get her up to speed. So I will see you after that.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We did a little bit of grinding, and we're getting a phone call. Warboss, howdy. It's Chris. What are you doing? You still keep all the Pokemon you capture in PC boxes? Maybe I should just let them go. That reminds me. I recently let the Sunkern go. It's kind of a waste, isn't it? <laughs> I'm laughing because we went down to the National Park and actually encountered a Sunkern as our encounter for that area, and I don't like Sunkern, so I killed it. But after the grinding, Eleanor is level 19. I don't think her moveset changed at all, but her uh, ability, her stats are looking much better. And still got all the same moves. Well, she's got Poison Sting now, which is weak but stab, so at least that's kind of good. I mean, it's not very impressive, but regardless. And we went all the way back down to the previous town and, and Goldron and picked up Evan the Eevee. Uh, level 5 with a sassy nature, which is plus special defense, minus speed. And he has runaway, which is kind of flipping pointless. But my plan is, is that if we do decide to uh, switch Evan in, he will be a Umbreon. And I picked up the Soothe Bell for just that reason. Now, my wife had originally wanted me to name the next Eevee that I caught, Evelyn, after my daughter, because it's my wife's favorite Pokemon, her name, her nickname is Eevee. Don't ask. I said, absolutely, I will do this. Well, the problem is, is that... No, no, not withdrawing, we're depositing. The problem is, is that the Eevee I got was male. So, unfortunately, my daughter didn't get named after it, instead I named it after my son. And I'm sure he won't mind at all. So, now that we've gotten all the grinding out of the way, we're going to do a wee bit of shopping. You know, stock up on some supplies. We're running low on Pokeballs and potions and whatnot. And then we're going to cross the ocean. Because we have places to be and people to beat up. Now, after we uh, do all this, I am going to have to go down to the Ruins of Alf because I can get a Moonstone down there to evolve Eleanor. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's see, we get some Super Potions. We're going to get... Oh, way too many. I think seven should be enough. And we need some Great Balls. And we have none of those, so let's get ten. I'm, I keep doing that. And we get a Premier Ball. We didn't get a Premier Ball. That's the only be when you buy Pokeballs. Which is funny because uh, in later generation games, you got a Premier Ball every time you bought 10 of any Pokeball. So, a little heartbroken at that. Ah, Eleanor, how you feeling, darling? She's happy. Feeling great about walking with you. Awesome. So, we need to head over to Olivine Town, I believe it is. And I think it's this way. Let's ask this nice gentleman. Where did you say you're from? New Bark Town. That's the town where Professor Elm lives, right? You've come a long way to get here. Well, yes, yes I have. And I've undergone a lot of conflict. Route 38, we get an encounter here. South to Olivine City. Awesome. So, what's it going to be? You know, it's funny. I ran into Entei when I was uh, grinding, too. Alright, Eleanor. Just scared off. Hey, when the queen snarls at you, your ass better be running. Anyway, that does not count for her encounter. That would be bullshit, because you can't actually catch that. Farfetched! Alright, I'll take it. I will absolutely 100% take that. Farfetched is freaking awesome, and I think we found our flyer. 
I hope he's holding a stick. Or she, I should say. Because it's a she. It's not going to do much. Nope. Alright, I think that should be low enough. Yeah, wouldn't mind a far-fetched. Well, guess I'm going to have to hit you a little bit more. Sorry, friend. Now I'm looking forward to hitting you some more. Okay, Eleanor, you've been critting like crazy lately. Please don't crit. Thank you. Got Aerial Ace, Fury Cutter, Fury Attack, and that was not very nice. You know what? We're going to switch out. All right, Rocket, just tank a few hits from this thing while we try to catch it, please. There we go. That's better. Let's try this again. Well, this is unfortunate because literally all of my Pokemon are at a level where I couldn't risk another hit. Even Poison Point would, uh, would be too much. So, we're just going to have to keep throwing balls until either we run out or we catch it. Oh my god, bless it. You stubborn little bugger, I've already used a bunch of balls on you already. This will be number five. I can't put it to sleep either. One. Oh boy. I'm catching this far-fetched, I'm telling you right now. This is not going to stand. Do not think that you can escape me, far-fetched. For I understand you taste delicious. <laughs> now we're not going to actually eat it or anything, but... You come on. Alrighty, you know what we're going to do? We are going to heal up Eleanor, and we're going to hit it with the Poison Sting. See, maybe we can just nudge it into the red. Because Eleanor is literally the only one that might be able to pull this off. Okay, Eleanor, be gentle. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to switch back into Rocket because I don't want Eleanor getting beaten up for no damn good reason. A little attached to this one. Ugh, I never thought I'd have this much trouble with a Farfetch'd before. I've never had this much trouble with a Farfetch'd before. Never thought I would. There we go. You are mine. Well, she's tough, she packs a punch, and there's only one thing that we can name her. It eats the plant stock it carries as emergency rations. It runs off in search of a new stock. Yes, we are going to nickname the Farfetch'd. All right, Lieutenant Ripley's front and center. I should probably should have named it Lieutenant Ripley, but this will do too. Now let's go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then go back to the store and buy some more stuff. Because, good God. I was not expecting this to be that much trouble. Oh, real quick, let's take a look at uh, Ripley here. Really glad I didn't kill you, darling. Uh, brave Nature often dozes off. I know how that feels. 
So it's minus speed plus attack. That would explain why it's punching so damn hard. Inner focus can't be flinched. It's got fury cutter, fury attack, knockoff, and aerial ace. Well, darling, where were you when I needed you against the last gym? Ah, well, couldn't have transferred yet anyway, but still, knockoff's a damn good move to have. So we've got some power in the PC, and I am totally okay with that. because we're not going to be experiencing any more losses. We're going to play it smart. We're not going to lose anybody. We're going to build our team back up. Because Eleanor should be our fifth team member, not our third. All right, there we go. All right, Ripley, time to make friends with the rest of the gang. And she didn't have an item, which is kind of a shame. But then again, catching a Farfetch with a stick, I think, is like 1% or something. It's rare as hell. Uh, it's actually rare enough that uh, on one of my... I don't know who that was, but too late now. On one of my uh, Alpha Sapphire cartridges that I have maxed the clock out on, I actually had to uh, power save in some a stick for my far-fetched. Ooh, we're running low on money. It's okay, we don't really need it that much. Now we'll start making more money once we hit more trainers. The funny thing is that I actually had an easier time finding a Q-Bone with a thick club than I did with a Farfetch'd with a stick. This one was... The, it's the same chance. Alright. Let us continue on. And... Howdy, sailor. I've been overseas, so I know all... Uh, I know about all sorts of Pokemon. Well... Coincidentally, I've also been overseas. I spent two years living in Japan. A uh, whooper! That's a water type, so... I don't think it resists fighting. Nope. Thank you, little bastard, though. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to cause it. Let's try to poison it. We're not, gonna, we're not taking too much damage from uh, Water Gun. I think that's his only stab. Mudshot! Whoa! I stand corrected! Okay. Yeah. It's time to get out. Lockjaw, do your thing. Slam. Man, this Wooper is not fucking around. However, oh, neither am I. Wow. I was not expecting that. That was not even a crit. Lockjaw just stepped up and popped that thing. Alright, what is your attack at? I seem to have missed a step here. 61. Yeah, that'd do it. All right, well, let's heal up. Uh, let's heal up Eleanor real quick. Lady took a little bit more of a hit than I really wanted her to. Once I hit the right button, we've got plenty of super potions. So there we go. That sailor wasn't a joke, though. I'll give him that. All kinds of people around the world live happily with Pokemon. Yes, they do. Pokemon Go is now officially the most downloaded app ever. And apparently there was a stampede of people, I think like Singapore or something, trying to catch a Snorlax. Hey, are you good at Pokemon? If you're really good, I want you to teach me some new things. Teach me some things. Alright. 
Matter of fact, I got a buddy of mine that lives in Singapore. I should try to get a hold of him, see if he's okay, because I know him. He was probably involved in that. A uh, Flaffy! Well, this sounds like a job for Rocket. I could probably tank a Thunderstrike or two, but why bother? Why do it when you don't need it? Magnitude 9. Oh. Rocket's having a great day with those magnitudes. You got magnitude 10 fighting a Raichu. Ooh, a Psyduck. Um. Yeah, it's gonna. It might have a psychic move, so I don't want to risk Eleanor. So Lockjaw, headbutt it to death. Remember, its powers work best when it has a headache. Give it a headache till it passes out. That'll do. I am quite okay with that result. And we'll just... Really? Well, even Cut's fucking it up. Jesus. I need to catch a Psyduck. Need to catch a Psyduck, and my wife will love me again. And hit the thumbs up button if you want my wife to love me, because she's a good cook, and she won't cook for me if she doesn't love me. You're really good with Pokemon. Boys give me items after battles, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time I can share some if you want. Just let me get your phone number. Alright. Next time a boy gives me something after a battle, I'll share it with you. Does that make me sound ungrateful? Um, that makes it sound like a couple of things that I will have vast swaths of the internet looking to kick my ass for if I comment on it. Because the internet is serious business, and God forbid you make a joke. Ah, fuck it, I'll make it anyway, gold digger. <laughs> Ooh, item! Give me the item. A max potion! Hello! Nothing wrong with that. Just standing out in the open, minding his own business, just saying, Please, Warboss, come and find me! See what we got here. Fly high into the sky, my blow. Oh, another bird catcher. I'm just not impressed by these guys. Yeah, you know, when I find a bird keeper that's got a Noivern, then I'll be impressed. It, it's technically a primary flying, so that would count. Uh, neutral hit. Fury attack, that's not going to do anything. Well, then again, I could be wrong. Yeah, let's not and say we did. Rocket, kill. Ah, ah, yeah, break your beaks on Rocket, you idiot. I think one should do the trick. Yep. Out you go. Oh, it's so nice when a plan comes together. Alright, what you got next? Another do duo. You know, I would like to see Lockjaw evolve this episode. Probably not going to happen because I think I've got a bunch of levels to go, but I think it's 32 or 36. I think it's 36. Regardless, Ice Fang. And we're having double-headed emu for dinner, apparently. Emu or ostrich? I can never tell the difference. Almost a 30. Yeah, I'm wondering how much a headbutt would do. It'll do enough. That's what it'll do. 369. That's how much experience one of those is worth. That's actually kind of funny. Crunch! Level 4 moves. 
And then there's a the problem we run into because I have two HM moves. Alright, do I. Yeah, you know, we're gonna give up Headbutt for now. Oh, I don't think I want to do that. Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, we'll lose Headbutt. At 70 and 100, this is 8100. Yeah, we'll take uh, we'll take crunch over headbutt. That might wind up being more useful later game. And we can teach headbutt to anyone. We just have to go back to Ilix Forest. So I feel like j just flying away now. Well, not till you give me my money. Where's my money? At? Oh, level 30. The hell? That seems awfully early. All right, give me my Feraligator. Yeah. Agility, no. Yeah, I'm not really worried about agility. This makes me faster. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that too much. All right, let's see what the stat changes are here. Lockjaw. Ooh, God, that's awesome looking. 78 attack, 74 defense, 59 special attack, 64 special defense, and 63 speed. I am okay with that. Absolutely okay. Not bothering with the acorn. Let's go get this trainer. Wow, she saw me from way off. Come on, mosey on down here, beauty. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Well, honestly, that's not the worst pickup line I've ever been told. Beauty Valerie. She's got a Hoppet. Color me unimpressed as all hell. Mega Drain. Eh, yeah, still not impressed. Sorry, I'm poison. You're bug. No, it's a bug type move anyway. Yeah, so it got one hit point back because it did two damage. Memo to self. Heal Eleanor after the battle. Come on, get the poison just for extra insult. Ah, I was hoping. Yeah, I might want to teach Eleanor headbutt. When we get fly, we're going to fly back down there because we need to get the Moonstone anyway, so. Level 20, very nice. Attack went up some more. Fury Swipes. Let's, um, Growl. Fury Swipes has its place. I might, uh, I might make fun of it, but honestly, I went through enough uh, scratches when I was grinding, so having an extra move is not bad. A skip low. Oh, the evolved form. I'm still not impressed. It's faster. That part's impressive. Still not doing anything, though. I'm not sure this Fury Swipes here. Now it's female, so I get bonus damage, which... It's not bad. Let's try it again. Now, previously I said it was like a 50% damage increase. I think that is correct. So it is... Rivalry as an ability is very situational, but when it's useful, it's useful. Ah, oh, screw this. Wow, that actually tanked it a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, would you chill out? Critical hit, and down it goes! Yeah, I got some pretty good experience for that, actually. I'm glad I got to see your Pokémon. Yeah, I'm... It's breathtaking, isn't it? And Alan's calling. What you want, Alan? Warboss, howdy. It's Alan, how are you? Tango is getting stronger exactly as I calculated. By the way, 
A wild Nidoran male escaped on me yesterday. A computational error on my part. See you later. Alright, so apparently there are nerds, and then there is Alan. He's like the king of the nerds. It's like Joffrey, King Joffrey with a pocket protector. Just nothing, nothing good comes of that. Right, what's over here? Ooh, another trainer. And a path that might lead to an item. I'm interested in finding out. Hey, look, another far-fetched. They're just everywhere over here, aren't they? Oh, we're not playing nice with this one. That took that hit rather well. Lockjaw. Kill. Oh, that was nice. I don't think the crit was necessary, Lockjaw, but thank you all the same. All right. Let me try something I learned today. That's what Beauty Valerie was telling me, too. I'm okay with this. School kid Chad and Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime! Yeah, we're switching out, like, right now, because I do not want to take a psychic attack. But I did just learn Crunch. Mr. Mime, your ass is mine! I regret nothing. Nice. I didn't study enough, I guess. Oh, how can you? Losing all your school supplies there. Nothing in Pokedex? Have you met Professor Oak? Oh, you have? That's way cool. I have a dream of becoming a professor, Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak. Alright, please have your phone number. We should chat about Professor Oak. Yeah, sorry, no fanboys. Let's see if I talk to him again. Oh, okay, so he'll just ask me again. Nope. Nerd! Ah, should, I should be nice to him now. Okay, it just leaves over there. Did I deal with him already? I think I did. Him or her. Mumu's Farms milk is famous for its taste. Yeah, I should be getting close to that. And I would definitely not mind getting some uh, Mumu milk. Trainer tips. Pokemon is trying to evolve. You can stop. Yeah, okay, we know this already. How do I get down to you? This way. Route 39, we have another capture available. Baoba. Oh! What you are holding is what they call a Pokedex. I haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Baoba. I used to run a safari zone in Fuchsia City, but it was becoming out of date with new entertainment options coming out. I had to go overseas to learn the newest technology and open a state-of-the-art safari zone in Seenwood. Maybe more of the coincidence that we were chatting. Why don't we register each other's numbers in the Pokemon? I give you a call once the safari zone is open before I call anyone else. Yes. My luck can't be that bad two games in a row. Because if anybody who remembers when I went through uh, the safari zone, I caught nothing. I caught... Uh, it was It was horrible. I had I had some good options and none of it came came to came to fruit. Fruition. So your Pokemon are capable of. Well, I wonder right now. Lockjaw is always hungry. Psychic Nielsen. Huh. Well, Eleanor. Good news, bad news. Good news is you're going to evolve from this fight. Bad news is that you're not going to be getting the kill. I don't know if this thing has a psychic move, but I do know it is psychic.
<laughs> uh, that's enough for you. Uh, the stats are not bad for a mid-level Pokemon. And it's saying another slow poke. Nah, we'll just leave it in. We'll leave him in. All right, down you go, Boo Boo. Oh, your Pokemon have potential. Yes, they do. All right, well, that's not the way to get that item, so I must have to go the other way. Yeah, there's got to be a path down here. Wait, no, there, no, there isn't. How do I, how do I get that? I want that. Give it to me. Uh, Meowth. Okay. I like Meowth. Uh, Limber's a good ability. Technician's an awesome ability. Fake Out's a good move. I'm gonna kill you for that, though. I mean, I was gonna kill you before, but still. Pretty sure that cat's got Technician. And probably a major headache from getting kicked in the face a couple of times. Bite. Oh! Why is this thing giving me so much trouble? Why would you, why would you even, why would your AI even let you do that? I don't understand. Wow. Oh. All as well that ends well, I suppose. Oh my god, another one. All right, so we're going to take a fake out. No, it didn't use fake out. Really? Well, that one didn't have nearly as much defense. I just want to go get that item. A Tauros. I'm going to admit, kind of sad. Kind of sad I didn't get a Tauros. That would have been amazing. Uh, we are going to switch out here, though, because I don't want Eleanor to have to take a hit from this. Although, to be fair, that wasn't very impressive. Rage is, I think, one of the worst moves. Horn attack. Ah. Alrighty. Well, still, I'm glad to have Ripley. Oh, come on, I went two steps. So all I did is just two steps. Eradicate that nose Hyper Fang. We are also not staying in for this. All this power being thrown at me right now. Now, Eradicate, I'm not sorry about uh, not being able to catch because I already have a Rattata. 
So. And there it is. Yeah, who didn't see that coming? <laughs> Just to be a dick. Can't do it twice. Oh! Thank you for being a smart ass. To be fair, a crit would do like six damage. Close to 26. All right. So, how do we get that item? Gotta be over here. There's something here I'm not seeing. Oh, okay. Now I see what it is. It's a rock climb area right there. And I don't know when you learn rock climbs, so. My milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Everybody wants a drink. It'll give me lots of milk if I feed it lots of berries, I reckon. Speaking of berries... How are, how are our berries coming? Oh, I didn't put any in. It's okay, though. Thought I had. Our milk even goes out to Kanto, so if our milk tank won't give, you a, give us any milk, we're in trouble. They have that nice down-to-earth hokey country accent I've come to appreciate from the south. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of orange berries. Okay. Cry is weak. Yes, I have three orange berries that I got from that one guy. A little healthier, all right. It's cry is weak still. Uh, I have no more orange berries, crap. Well, hopefully we can find some more at some point. Actually, I don't even know where you find berries. Yeah, that's an apricorn tree. A gurn apricorn. Well, that was a waste of time. Yeah, I need to find some berries so I can heal up Momo. Because if I can heal up the Moo Moo... Or the milk tank, rather. Blech. I will be able to get milk. I just got back to Olivine. So, how about a Pokemon battle? A lot of trainers out here. I like this. Sailor Eugene. Hey there, Sailor. Uh, Poliwhirl's a pure water type, so... Before I forget, let's heal up our Eleanor. Yeah, some potion should be fine. Well, that's not very nice. Come on, don't flinch. Alright, we're done. We're not doing that. Rocket, get in there and crush it. If... Oh, dick move, rat! Dick move!
Yeah, taking a lot of damage from these uh, physical attacks. My special defense is so low. The crits aren't helping either. Nice. Oh, so close to 26. Krabby! Huh. Yeah, we're going to do the incredible. We're going to stay in. Nah, just kidding. I just wanted uh, Rocket to get her fair share of the experience. And down you go. Defenses are good, hit points are good. Arr! I think. I'm a little confused about that one, to be honest. Right, let's set up some healing here. Rocket, right, you're gonna get it first, because you're the bacon saver out there. Because you saved my bacon. And one for Eleanor. Lock just fine. He's a dude. He's nice and stoic. He can take it. My Pokemon are caught and raised overseas. They're my companions on those long voyages. Oh, that's nice. Is it okay to brag about my Pokemon? Well, yeah, it's okay. But now you're going to get to brag about the lovely tombstone you made for him. Oh, a Pikachu! Eh, I wasn't expecting that. Eh, I should be able to take a peek at you. <laughs> poison does as much as the poison sting. I've always loved that. Not a big fan of that, though. Because I'm going to miss now. Yeah, called it. Try a double kick. Alright, quick attack, tail whip, double team. Ah, I don't know what your fourth move is. Probably Thunder Shock, although I don't know why I didn't use it. Regardless, down you go. I couldn't brag. Well, no, like I said, now you get to, to brag about the tombstone. Hey, let's be friends. I figure no one who likes Pokemon could be a bad person. <laughs> let's chat about Pikachu and Slowpoke and Tentacool and all kinds of other Pokemon. It'll be fun. What do you think? Can I get your phone number? Sure, older man who's breathing rather heavily. You can have my phone number. There we go. If anything Pokemon really comes up, I'll call. Excuse me. Such darling Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. Ruth. Wow, another Pikachu. This one's a female. That means I'll do even more damage. Not quite a two-hit KO. I was hoping, though. There's that Thunder Shock, but we should have take that just fine. Yeah. Well, Elnor's levels are coming along quite nicely. I don't mind losing. Yeah, neither did the guy up above me, uh... You two should talk. I'm sure you have a lot in common, both being losers and all. Yeah, I know. I don't have headbutt anymore. Shut up. Oh, I guess you didn't have to go surfing after all. All of Vine City. That thing you have is a Pokegear, right? Wow, that's cool. 
Yes, yes it is. Oh, there's a house over there. Oh shit. You again. There's no need to be alert. I won't I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. And supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Huh. Boo hoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows, it might make you a bit of a better trainer. I literally just want to punch this guy in the balls repeatedly till his eyes bleed. Ah, I really do. What a dick. Jasmine, the steel-clad defense girl. Well, looks like Eleanor's going to get, be getting a workout on that one, so we'll rock it. That's what we got here. Ooh. All vine is on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there's bound to be something to catch. Fish here for 30 years. Should I have to face the sea and fish? Yes. Yes, I would. Ah, uh, ha, ha. We have ourselves a new angler. The good rod. I can catch cool Pokemon in the water now. Water type Pokemon aren't found in the sea alone. They go wherever there is water. Yes, they do. And there's Goldeen. There's Staryu. There's good stuff in the water here. Let's buy some more potions before I forget. I made some money, so. Get some super potions. We'll get five more. Almost clicked that cancel button again. You didn't get me, game. You didn't get me. So do we have anything to sell? Oh. Nope. I think we're good. Alrighty. You, young trainer, the sea is sweet. Sing with me. The sea is blue, the sea is salty. That's it? No, I was hoping for a few more lines. Ooh, another fisherman. Pokemon get more friendly if you spend time with them. Yes, I know. There's a person in Cyanwood City across the sea. I heard him bragging about his rare Pokemon. They can shine like a bright light, like a beacon at night to guide us. They can take us across the water on their backs when we are without a boat. Pokemon are helping us everywhere. I can't imagine a life without them. Well, thankfully you don't have to. They're all done. Sure to surprise ever anyone. Oh, are you a trainer? You came just at the right time. I just finished putting my ball caps on my Pokeball. Want to battle and be amazed by my decoration? Sure, actually. I'm having a battle in a Pokemon Center. I I don't think I've ever done that before. Beauty Charlotte. Okay, that was actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Aha! Mega Drain, that shouldn't be too bad. It's actually a grass move. I misspoke when I said it was a bug move before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can take those all day, every day. Oh, come on. Ah, well, we're in the Pokemon Center. I don't really care. Matter of fact, there's a chance that they might actually be able to save your Pokemon after it goes down. Eh, who am I kidding? Eleanor's gonna eat it. Level 23! I like the look of that. Alright, attack defense one up, speed one up. It's not bad. Bite. Yes, we will learn Bite. Fury Swipes, get your broken ass out of here. Oh, 
Were you really watching? Oh, darling. As I was, I was totally looking at your Pokeballs. You can turn Pokeballs into your own special creations by adding seals. How cool is it to have a Pokeball that only you have in the entire world? Give it a whirl. Oh, remember to put the ball caps on a Pokeball once it's ready. Okay, so how do I do it? Um, because I want to do this now. All right, so bag. Do I have a thing for this? I guess it won't let me use it. Um. Oh, I bet I do it in the PC. Ball capsules, there we go. Don't have any seals. Oh! That sucks. Anyway, folks, we're going to quit here for the day. Now, for... Me, tomorrow is Thursday, so I want to head back to the National Park and take that uh, bug catching challenge. And I want to go back and get myself a Moonstone for Eleanor, so we might do a little bit of backtracking tomorrow, either at the beginning of the episode or the end. Regardless, I'll, I'll speed it up so we don't get uh, too much waiting going on. But... If you enjoyed the, today's episode, and remember what I said at the beginning of the episode, if you want my wife to like me and my wife to feed me, hit that like button, folks. I'm the Warboss Squee. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.